Okay, good afternoon everybody. This is Ryan here at the Weather Service Office in Peachtree City. I'm going to go ahead and get started here with the briefing. Okay, this is the latest information we have um, on Hurricane Michael as of the 11 a.m. Eastern uh, update earlier this morning. Uh, currently a high-end Category 2 hurricane with maximum sustained winds of 110 miles per hour. Um, continued intensification to a Category 3 is expected by later today with a Category 3 landfall expected during the day tomorrow. Um, with maximum sustained winds of 125 miles per hour. Um, the immediate concerns for us here locally will be the significant wind and potential rainfall impacts, uh, especially down in central Georgia. Again, I put the disclaimer there, any slight west shift would increase any impacts northwestward. This is a recent satellite loop of Michael over the Gulf. Um, as I said, currently a Category 2 with maximum winds of 110 miles per hour. Right now, about a 360 miles south of Panama City um, and moving northward at about 12 miles per hour. That trend will continue through the day today before turning more towards the north-northeast tomorrow before making landfall. Here is a look at our current local watches and warnings um, and the entire state. Um, we can see that tropical storm watches are issued for a good portion of our local area in central Georgia um, and then a flash flood watch as well for about the southern half of our area. Um, widespread rainfall amounts in that area of three to five inches will be likely with locally higher amounts and we'll dive into that a little more here in upcoming slides. Um, also Later on today, you'll likely notice some changes to the Tropical Storm Watch and potential for some upgrades as well. But as of right now, um, that is the Tropical Storm Watch area here locally. The threat levels uh, are similar to what we were discussing yesterday. Um, confidence has increased a bit as well. Um, it looks like the damaging wind threat will be the primary threat here locally as far as trees down, power lines down, and widespread power outages. But we are expecting um, a good bit of rainfall, which will lead to at least localized flooding issues in central Georgia. Um, the tornado risk is there as well, um, particularly um, as we get into tomorrow afternoon and into tomorrow night. And we'll dive into that here in just a little bit as well. Jumping to the maximum wind gust forecast, still the southeastern and southern portions of the area is where we expect the highest wind gusts. Um, sustained winds up to 35, potentially as high as 45 miles per hour, um, with gusts of 50 to 60 miles per hour across the southern tier with isolated higher gusts can be expected. Um, obviously, with any winds of this magnitude, we're expecting uh, a lot of trees down, a lot of power lines down, and widespread power outages down in central Georgia with uh, more isolated impacts as you head further northwest in the state. This is taking a look at the percent chance of tropical storm force wind gusts. Um, southern portions of the area, as you can see, have a very high probability of receiving tropical storm force wind gusts uh, as Michael moves northward. Um, there is high confidence um, that gusts over 40 miles per hour can be expected. That's the large graphic that you're looking at there. So we're talking a large area of 80 to 90 percent plus um, probabilities of tropical storm force winds. Uh, southern portions of the area, if you look at the smaller graphic there, actually have a 40 to 60 percent chance of uh, 55 plus mile per hour um, wind gusts. So even in those areas, we're talking about the potential for even higher uh, wind gusts um, than what we showed on that uh, last graphic. This graphic uh, is an attempt to allay some questions on specifics for different counties that will be affected. Um, we're taking a look at timing of wind gusts both at tropical storm force which is 40 plus as well as the higher 50 to 60 plus mile per hour wind gusts um, the blue there is the tropical storm 
uh, force wind gusts, and the yellow is the potential for those 50 to 60 plus uh, mile per hour gusts. And as you can see, um, these are in two hourly timing blocks, um, and the impacts beginning Wednesday afternoon and going through Thursday morning. Um, this is a list of all the counties where we currently have any expectation and forecast of any tropical storm force uh, wind gusts. A few of them you can see only have like one uh, hour block or one of the two hour blocks highlighted. Um, those are a little more iffy as far as uh, wind gusts exceeding the tropical storm force, um, but this hopefully will help give an idea of the current expectation of when the strongest winds will impact a number of counties. Um, and I can also go back to this at the end of the presentation um, if anybody uh, would like also me to. Well. Yeah, and this also gives a good idea of when uh, a lot of those stronger wind gusts will begin to taper off and end um, generally Thursday morning to Thursday midday for everybody. Here's the latest storm total rainfall expected with Michael. Central Georgia is the target for the heaviest rainfall amounts. Um, we're expecting pretty widespread totals of three to five inches with some localized totals of six inches or higher. Um, so despite even the dry conditions that we've had down there lately with rainfall totals of that magnitude, I would expect to see at least some localized flooding issues um, and flash flooding issues as well, which is why we have the flash flood watch out for those areas. And the gradient will taper off to the northwest and will be a relatively sharp gradient with the heaviest rainfall totals as we uh, back up towards the Atlanta metro. The tornado threat will be there. While not the highest impact threat, it is something that we will need to pay attention to as we get into the day tomorrow, especially tomorrow afternoon and evening and into the overnight hours. Um, the highest impact threat will be in the marginal and slight risk areas that you see there on the left. But I wanted to highlight the potential um, for even some isolated tornado activity a little further to the northwest. It cannot be ruled out. On the right there, you see one uh, high resolution model forecast showing a band that extends a little further north. Um, so we can't let our guard down a little further north for the potential for um, some quick spin up tornadoes in any of the outer bands as we get into tomorrow late afternoon and evening. Okay, taking a look at the matrix of expected impacts here. Um, we really start to ramp up as we get into tomorrow afternoon and evening and really into tomorrow night through Thursday morning. Our highest, highest expected impacts will be from the widespread tropical storm force wind gusts beginning across the southwest and southern areas um, Wednesday uh, afternoon into Wednesday night and uh, going through Thursday morning. But you can see also the, the heavy rainfall and flooding threat there as well, as well as that um, non-zero threat of some quick spin-up tornadoes beginning tomorrow afternoon and, and going through Thursday morning. Just to summarize, uh, the wind gusts will be uh, something that we will have a lot of impact from um, beginning tomorrow. Uh, late tomorrow and into tomorrow night, we're expecting wind gusts of 50 to 60 miles per hour in southern areas with some higher gusts, which will lead to widespread down trees and power lines and widespread power outages as well. Um, also, the rainfall threat of three to five, widespread three to five inch amounts with isolated totals of six plus inches down in central Georgia, which will lead to some flooding concerns. Um, as I mentioned, currently we do have a pretty good area down in central Georgia under a tropical storm watch. Um, and additional changes and upgrades to that watch area can be expected as we head later into the day today. Um, once again, if the track trends just a bit to the further west, then we would have uh, higher impacts across uh, areas further to the northwest as well. Um, I did want to put that disclaimer in there. We have gone ahead and uh, we will schedule another briefing for later today. That will be at 8.30 p.m. this evening, just to provide another up-to-date, um, some more up-to-date information later this evening. So uh, do expect that. 
uh, at 8.30 p.m. this evening. One last thing I wanted to cover was um, some discrepancy that you may see if you click on a localized forecast on our webpage. For instance, on the right you see this is what you would see if you typed in the forecast for the Atlanta area. Wednesday night it does indicate tropical storm uh, conditions possible. This is based on the uh, internal threat grid for winds and the uh, percent chance. So because the Atlanta area is in that 20 uh, to 35 percent uh, chance area, it does put that into the web page as far as tropical storm uh, conditions possible, even though the official forecast uh, does not contain winds that high. This is taking a look at the actual forecast winds and gusts for Atlanta um, on Wednesday night. And as you can see, we don't have forecast wind gusts of tropical storm uh, force, but the probability is high enough that it includes it on the web page. Um, so I did want to uh, throw that out there in case we got any questions as far as any discrepancies. All right.